Good evening, college esports fans. My name is Jake at Superman Casting Mori. Casting alongside me this evening is none other than Zader. Yeah, and welcome to the Pack G Overwatch. Yeah, this is week seven of the Pacific Alliance of Collegiate Gamers Spring Tournament. Now, we have a lot of esports titles, but tonight is for Overwatch. Thanks for joining us. We're excited to have you along for three amazing matches this evening. Yeah, three amazing matches. Uh, first match is going to be a show match. Second match is going to be a rebroadcast. Uh, just keep that in mind. Then our third match is going to be uh, the official match of the night. Yeah, I mean, it's super exciting. Now, the Pack G has been going on for now seven weeks, right? This is week seven. So let's take a look of how the standings will be get those on their screen in just a moment. There they are. You can see Utah been commanding that lead. Man, they've been on fire so far in the Pac-G. Absolutely on fire. Utah taking a 3-0. They, they are top of the seed right now, and they're going to get a free pass into the semifinals. Yeah, Colorado looking great as well. And then ASU, we'll see them later on this evening. It'll be the last match we'll see tonight. And some uh, there's, there's a lot of playoff changes that could happen based on what happens in that match tonight. We'll talk more about it as that comes along, but we're excited to bring some Overwatch action for you this evening. Man, I mean, Zader, talk to me about this first match. Let's look at the schedule. This, I mean, this first match is a show match, so it's not going to count for standings. It should be a blowout. Yeah, I mean, Arizona being 0-2 right now, uh, not not looking super good. Uh, they they They've They've been trying their, their best, but really hasn't been looking too good. But Utah, obviously on fire, you know, uh, these, these cross-region show matches, uh, Utah is, is expected to, to win this match. But, again, we, we really can't make these predictions and, and say that Utah is obviously just going to flat out win uh, because Arizona still has a chance. There's, I, I, I'm not going to let anybody down here. Yeah, I mean, when it comes to Overwatch, Anything goes, right? Anything, Anything can goes. happen. It's a, you can have these scrappy fights break out on different maps with loser's choice. means things can be flipped on their head in a moment's notice. Those last few seconds of a fight can just go one way or the other. So it's not all set in stone, even when you may have a clear favorite for a match. But I'm excited. These first two show matches should be great. And then later on, those playoff implications between USC and Arizona State University. Man, that should be a great match to see. That will be a really fun match to see. Uh, USC already having a great roster. We're hearing they do have substitutions here today. Uh, so that'll be really interesting to see uh, what, who they decide to substitute out and how their new kind of uh, team is going to see here. But obviously, ASU very good team they have a very solid roster they've got top 500 players their tanks are phenomenal tanks and our median that we saw just the other week uh on fire absolutely great dps yeah great player but before we get into those playoff implications the final match of the evening we're going to start out again with that show match between utah and arizona let's take a look at the lineups of these two squads coming into this evening you can see for university of utah they're 12 and 0 with their game score the scores that count 3-0 match score, undefeated, and they look great. Flame Turtle on that DPS with Daddy J. And then the tank line, Tetrum and Dog. They've been great there on the front line with Sin and CX Dave there on the support. They are on that support and great supports there. Substitute players, Mutaton and Tandon. Uh, we'll probably see them a lot uh, this match. I, I, I've heard that Tandon's going to come in maybe the last, yeah, the last game Yeah, for the show there. matches, why not? For the show match, you know, why not? Uh, but Arizona, I progress, sitting on the DPS along with not GM. Uh, hopefully he's either GM or not GM. His name could lie. Uh, and then we've got the two. We've got three tanks on the team: Agent Snow, Super Micro, and Tearfink. And then the one support there, uh, Revenos, uh, sitting there. The substitute players: Yugs, Bunnyo, and Melon as their flex. Yeah. So they have a good spread of players. A little bit more tank heavy in their starting lineup that we're used to seeing from Arizona. But they haven't lost every single game. So there's a possibility, as we said before, that they could take a game off of Utah. They could take a game off of Utah. That's true. We, they could ruin our perfect game score of 12-0 here, uh, which would be exciting to see, honestly. Uh, King's Road, definitely not one of our most loved maps. I don't like that map. I don't think anybody likes that map. I don't like it either. Uh, but Seth likes it. Seth likes it. I don't know why. Uh, he's crazy, though. Yeah. Uh, we're, I'm, I'm going to admit that. But we'll have to see exactly how this goes. Uh, the region, region standings right now, Utah has the favor. Yeah, for sure. And once again, this first match, this first set of games here between Arizona and Utah are just show matches. They don't count toward the official standings for the spring tournament of the Pac-G, but 
later on this evening we will have. But this is super exciting. We've chosen the map to begin our evening between Arizona and Utah. It's going to be Blizzard World, that new map that's just been recently released. Welcome to Widowmaker's Playground. <laughs> With a cancerous opening gate, I have to say, that map, oh, it's just seemingly impossible to make it through that first choke point. Seemingly impossible it is. You have to either run a full dive and maybe hope that you can get past whatever is standing on the high ground there on the right, or you have to run a very slow push composition here. I'm interested to see what these teams are going to have today. I haven't seen Utah play at all. I haven't seen Arizona play at all on this map. I don't know what kind of team compositions they want to run. I know Utah plays a lot of dive. Yeah. I'd expect them to have a lot of, you know, either dive or anti-dive, you know, just depending if they're attacking or defending uh, on this map. But I've heard also slow pushes work well uh, as, as well. So we'll just have to kind of see what, what, what rolls out here. But I'm expecting a dive composition. And from that like your compositional predictions here, Zader. I'm curious what you'd expect from Daddy J specifically. One of the star players from Utah. He's the DPS. He's really good. You mentioned Widowmaker. Even Genji, if he has to play in that dive composition, what do you expect from him on this specific map? I'm expecting Widowmaker in Blizzard yeah. World. Honestly, on both attack and defense, it's... It's so strong. You, you absolutely need a way to make around this map. You have so much high ground opportunity. You have so much pick opportunity there, in the, especially in that front gate, like uh -huh. you mentioned. Uh, it, it's, it's very important to have a Widowmaker on this map on both sides. Because if, if you only have one on defense, you're not running one on attack, you've got to make sure you either take out the Widowmaker first, or she's just going to have unlimited range uh, and unlimited, like, kind of just free range on no, Even on attack? Because on attack, it seems like there's not as many high ground options, at least, for Widowmaker to have a really good vantage point. Definitely not as high, many high ground options, but the pick opportunity is there. Uh, I unless everybody's holding that high ground there on the right, uh, which I I'm assuming they will. I, I hope so. <laughs> Everyone should be holding the high ground on the right. Unless everybody's standing behind that shield, we'll, we'll just kind of have to see exactly what goes on. Sometimes Widowmaker works. I'd, I'd expect it. But if it's not working out, the immediate switch is going to come out, and they're probably just going to go with a full dive. Yeah. Four tank? Quad tank po possible, but that's the slow push option for sure. All right. And remains to be seen. We're just about ready to get into the game. I'm super excited to see this. Once again, it's Arizona. University of Arizona versus University of Utah. Our first matches of the evening. It's just a show match for you to show off these collegiate stars, really. Kind of just, kind of just flex your muscles, you know? Yeah. Uh, we're, we might see interesting compositions. Might see some uh, some testing here. It's very possible. Uh, it, you know, it, you know. Really, Blizzard World is is a new map. I don't think everybody really has a handle on what compositions work here, honestly. Yeah. Obviously, you have your very your very meta compositions like dive and everything, but there could be there could be different things. Uh, I, I've heard three ta uh, triple tank or three tank is is also very very new. Uh, so we'll have to see if that works on this map as well. Yeah, a lot of a lot of things to figure out, right? When you have a new map get released or any sort of new position or a new champion I should say new hero uh, there's a lot to work on a lot to figure out not just in your own play your individual play when you're just queuing up for competitive matches but also as a team what works what gels what are you guys comfortable with right? right so there's a lot to learn as you mentioned with this map I think it's a well-designed map in the sense that it looks pretty it did look there are amazing some, yeah it does <laughs> look, you know I think Blizzard should actually fund that project and it better match especially they have like in in the base room one of the spawn rooms there's the map of blizzard world map, it better everything. match that yeah. if they actually made this into a live thing and then have a little setting. floating overlord there in the sky you can yeah. see it off exactly. in the distance blizzard take my money right? there we go i would I, I would visit that every day right why wouldn't you i mean you could have it, it would be kind of cool to see if they could track down like popular cosplayers and the like to like, play specific characters kind of like you'd see in Disney land or something like that right. where you have people hired on to be those actors uh i mean cosplay is a huge thing for esports why not you know, get the cross there. Imagine, Translate it across. Imagine meeting Soldier 76 in real life. But here's the game. We're going to see Utah here starting on the attack. And a pretty well-rounded composition, I would say. Pretty well-rounded. Flame Turtle on the Doomfist. This is actually very new for Utah as well. Uh, that Doomfist uh, in this in this kind of dive composition uh, works very well. But we do see Daddy J on the Widowmaker on attack, like I said. They're actually holding the main point yeah, here, Arizona. Yeah, that's curious to me. Normally, you'd see them push up a little bit further in the first push here. But man, this is an explosive start here. Doomfist already diving the back line. Diving the back line, putting a lot of focus into Moira. That's a really big hit pick here for Utah. Flame Turtle dropping really low, uh, <laughs> unfortunately getting taken out there by yes. Super Micro. Uh, you know, finding, finding fall down. That. You can see Daddy J really comfortable on the high ground here with the 
flank. Nice headshot on a super micro. That's two quick deaths in a row. Nice hook. And Daddy J getting very, very close here. Roadhog Ooh. just putting a lot of focus into him. Daddy J falling down. Utah not having as many players as they'd like here uh, to to take this point. They're gonna have to kind of fall back and regroup here at this point. Yeah. But this is what I this is what I expected to see from Utah. This this kind of dive composition here on attack. CX Dave. Very lucky save there by that lamppost. Yeah, and you can see ultimates are just coming up for a, a handful of members on both of these squads. They can get really explosive. This is a scrappy fight. Close, the melee's in range of each other. Winston in the fray. Here comes Doomfist. Will the ult land? He's, he's looking for that Zenyatta. Oh, and that Ooh. would be Zenyatta's life. Almost 100 to zero. Now, Epicenter does the most damage of that spell, but it doesn't actually quite hit perfectly. But Utah, everybody coming and collapsing yep. on that pick there, on that Reinhardt, and kind of uh, everybody pushing up and pushing everybody away from this choke point here. And here we see Daddy J using advantage of all of this high ground on this map. Yeah, really convincing first push there, and they're going to just regroup, as you said, and make this push here. Winston is the first to go forward. Flame Turtle's in there, but he gets taken out very quickly. Extremely quickly. Nice we saw the Transcendence come out from yeah. Arizona as well, uh, you know, really protecting their uh, entire team here. I progress sitting with the Soldier 76 ult. He's going to look for, uh, you know, kind of a better moment to find it here. Uh, he's going to wait for CX Dave to get out of that Valkyrie mode so he has a little bit more uh, range on him uh, and here we see CX Dave a little bit out of position yeah it looks like this is just going to be a little bit of a split fight you can see that there's not a full-on group from either one of these squads the support players have been on those flanks and kind of having to regroup with their teams to not get caught out of position speaking of caught out of position oh my goodness that was really low health there from the Lucio almost falling this diva play from dog 21 looks slick Diva on Dog21 is extremely, extremely powerful. He's focusing down this Lucio. He makes sure he's not anywhere around the team. Lucio is completely useless at this point. He's not anywhere around the team. He's not providing healing. He's not providing any speed boost. Yeah, he has to go around to get back. It's the second time he's barely gotten away with like 20 health, Zader. It's crazy to see this play. Nice escapes at least from Remnos, but look at this. Once again, the Diva just with the flank. Putting a lot of pressure on the tank line. So much pressure on the tank line. He'd be able to do so much damage to these big targets. And here we see the Diva ultimate coming down as well. With all the focus coming onto him, he was probably about to go out of mech there as well. So might as well burn that ult, get back in mech, and keep that health pool. Yeah, it's a good amount of healing to reset your health pool and kind of zone them away so your team can reset, regroup, and make a new push. You saw how quickly Utah was able to take the first point. Now they're trying to escort that payload, but it's a little bit slow moving at this point. Ooh, the Mercy Ooh, gets CXA. so low. There it is. The Helix Rocket's coming out, sniping CX Dave out of the air as she's trying to fly back to his team. Yeah, without your support, you're going to have to back way off. You can see. He just snow. 7 HP there. Woo. Oh, Tearfing, good job. A little far forward. Flame Turtle has been playing super aggro. Again, this is a show match. You mentioned it. Flex your muscles. What hero better do that than Doomfist as he's throwing out those punches? But he's getting caught a few times. Maybe he has to take a breather, reset, rethink his strategy, and where he can actually get those flanks off. Will we see a headshot? Not quite Ooh. yet. Really good close, shot, though. though. Yeah, he's uh, Daddy J's playing those line of sights position as well. He's very he's very far in the back and he's making Ooh. sure that he's not a speed able to see him there. Transcendence popped as as kind of a, a worrisome there from because Flame Turtle's pushing so much uh, pressure there into the back line of Arizona. Two picks that on was that amazing. meteor strike. Justice Transcendence times out. He lands the ultimate. That's really good. And you can see Genji ulting on the back line hasn't quite found a target yet, and he actually gets picked off. Nice work there from University of Utah to focus him down. You can see Lucio. Caught once again, the positioning on this support player is a little bit lackadaisical at this point. Needs to reconsider where he's actually safe being because they seem to have Utah seems to have Revenos's number at this point. Yeah, Revenos is 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 having a really really hard time sticking with his team because he's being focused out by this Doomfist and by this Diva. He's being pushed away from everything. Here we see another D Diva bomb from Doc Twenty One picking out three. Oh my goodness! Players of Arizona, and that's going to be a full sweep of Arizona's team. Winston is running for his life here at this point. Flame Turtle on his tail, chasing him as much as possible, trying to punch him into the wall, not able to find him. Agent Snow escaping with his life. Oh man, just shy of the team kills, Zader. What a great comboing of the ultimates there. Diva play. I mentioned how good it is with the flank and the pressure we're putting on the front line. Being able to use the ultimate like that is truly skillful. This is a really scrappy fight, though. You can see the shield has already broken. Winston has to reposition. 
Flame I, Turtle falls once again. The Doomfist, super aggressive. Super aggressive for Doomfist, but this is exactly what you want to see from Doomfist. He's focusing those supports. He's putting so much pressure on the back lane of Arizona. Arizona has to put so much attention to him, while the rest of Utah, uh, Daddy J, uh, and then we see Dog21 chasing everybody around. They're putting so much uh, focus into Flame Turtle. No one else is able to kind of... Uh, I see where Utah is. Yeah, like I said, they seem to have the number of the back line there, the healers from Arizona. And now that Flame Turtle has swapped over to this Tracer, it's only going to get worse, right? The damage will just be so annoying to deal with. Nice flank there. Agent Snow falls. This is Flame Turtle once again. Switches to the Tracer and seems to be just popping off. Doing everything he can, doing so much damage. Daddy J with two headshots on both of the supports. That is Arizona's team oh. falling there. Round one goes to... Utah on attack. They're going to do a full push. <laughs> Game on indeed. The D.Va play on the front line to keep that pressure. Flame Turtle's flanks and just the dive of the back line looked beautiful there. Yes, he kept falling time and again. But as you mentioned, Zader, he just puts all sorts of pressure and zones away the healers. And when you're playing AOE healing from like Lucio and the like, you have to be in the fights. You can't afford to get forced away like that. You uh. cannot afford to get forced away like that at all, especially as Lucio, like you said. And we saw a lot of that from Doc21, but we also saw all that pressure coming in from Flame Turtle as well. Two really highlight players here in this match, providing so much pressure there in the back line and making sure those supports theoretically useless. Yeah, theoretically. Zone I mean, them enough, and then they really can't contribute to the level they need to to deal with the pressure that Utah brings. So, very convincing first game win. Yeah, for Utah. very convincing first game win. We're also going to most round. likely see Utah play an anti dive composition here on defense as well. Uh -huh. uh, most likely going to see just around the same composition. Daddy J is still going to be on that Widowmaker. We saw him on Widowmaker on attack the whole game there as well. He got, he got very key picks there at the end as well, which is really important to see Daddy J on the Widowmaker getting those key picks on the supports and everything. Uh, really good play from him. We're most likely going to see him on Widowmaker on defense as well. Probably going to see him getting a lot more picks because they're they're going to be a lot more focused and, and balled up here. Fair enough. You th Widowmaker's Playground, as you call it, here for Blizzard World, the external section of that map seems to be great for her. There's a lot of high ground options. But as they moved in, they, they switched off of that. They went for a more aggressive dive champion, dive hero, excuse me. Right. Uh, do you really expect to see only Widowmaker, or would you maybe consider more... Uh, stationary DPS carries. Look, I was hovering wrong. the Bastion, perhaps. I, he's not even hovering the Bastion. They are set up there with that Bastion, sitting up on the high ground. I don't know even how they got on the... I, I'm seeing a different perspective here, but they're on the roof right now with that Bastion. I don't know how they got up there. I don't know what kind of boost that is to, to sit up there. <laughs> that would have been interesting to see it develop. But that's a nice position there with Orisa's shield. It's going to be a lot of damage. First blood is going to be the Widowmaker. It isn't Flame Turtle. It's I Progress. Man, look at that trade. The 1v1 Daddy J. Definitely knows how to counter a Widowmaker there. Sure does. <laughs> uh, and we see Flame Turtle. He's just getting picks. He, I mean, he's sitting up there. He's basically uncontested. Uh, there's there's nothing that can really get him off of that ledge. Tetra has to balance himself kind of on this roof as well. Oh. He doesn't want to slide off. No, he does. I mean, Utah's hit scan damage is just insane at this moment. This chokehold at this point seems uh, incontestable for Arizona. I mentioned how this area of the map, particularly this map, is just, it feels cancerous to try and aggress it, through. It, it really is. I mean, you can't contest that Bastion. He's got a permanent shield on him, basically. And look, you, you basically you don't even have a sight line on him yeah. as Widowmaker. You can't get any shots there. Uh, this is going to be really interesting to see what Arizona wants to do about this Bastion because they have to take care of it. Dog21, really good hook there onto Winston, providing a lot of pressure and damage. That pulse bomb not really finding anything, though. Yeah, maybe hoping to zone be able to hit the headshots, but you want it to deal damage more, so not actually going to land that pulse bomb, but you can see there's a, a handful of ultimates coming up in just a moment for Utah. They don't even need them at this point. They're just crushing this defense. They're absolutely crushing this defense. This is not something that I expected to see from Utah at all. I, I, didn't, I didn't even know you could run Bastion on this map. <laughs> it's like a stationary pirate ship, it feels like. You got that Asura, uh, Orisa shield just... Keeping him safe, you mentioned the line of sight just is a perfect position 
However, it is that they got the Bastion up there. We'll never know. I, I, and the Orisa. I mean, both of the very immobile characters kind of have to... I mean, maybe they started with a Mei. It's, it's possible they started with a Mei and did a Mei while yeah. boost up there. Uh, that's that's one thing I could I could assume that happened. But I progress on the Pharah now instead of the uh, instead of the Widowmaker, I believe. Uh, could this, be is gonna be re this is going to be really key. He's able to take out Daddy J with one boosted rocket. And also he's... Uh, never mind. He was trying. He was trying. I mean, you have to, right? You have to try and find an answer to th this sentry bastion. He's just mowing people down. And you can imagine, as soon as things might get hairy, Tetrum's ult is almost there. You're going to have a 50% damage boost onto an already massive DPS hero. This is crazy. So this, this is what we want to see. Supermicro on that D.Va with that D.Va bomb ready. If he can push this D.Va bomb up onto that roof and get Flame Turtle uh, and, and, you know, theoretically kill Flame Turtle with that Diva Bomb, that's just their only chance, really, of getting up there. Because, I mean, the Pharah Rockets aren't going to... They're not going to find Flame Turtle. They're not going to find him at all. Yeah, really interactive Overwatch at this point. You're just trying to maybe get some splash damage from far away, try and break the shield. I mean, Oris is the great... the best champion to be... Ha uh, to have there helping the Bastion stay safe with the almost 100% uptime that that shield can have. It's kind of insane. Oh, nice snipe Ooh, there! Sin! Sin with right the headshot. Clicks. Yeah, right, right clicks, clicks. man. Ugh. Oh, Dog21, really good hook onto eye progress. It's going to put him way out of position there, and he's going to fall to Flame Turtle. Yeah, only un just under 30 seconds now remaining for this first push. Remember, this is just Objective A. They still have to be able to take this point before even contesting the next. It seems that this is an impossible situation here for Arizona. It was so convincing from Utah, but now the ultimates. That means Flame Turtle's not sitting on that position for much longer. He's likely to fall through. Yes, he does. He actually oh, no, he actually fell. Down. He got booped off. I progress. This Very is good your moment, Arizona. Take it. Run. Yeah. This is this is Arizona's moment. They need to capitalize and they need to not die. They have to keep their team alive and they need to make sure that Utah cannot get back to this point. Their spawn time is long and they have a really long walk back here. Arizona needs to capitalize. They need to push up. Sin, really, really good good ultimate here. Transcendence coming in, keeping Over his team time. alive. Last few seconds. Will they get someone at the point? No. That's it. Utah with I, the most unexpected hold composition there. Flame Turtle. Man, I, I didn't expect it. I didn't expect it at all. Daddy J with the play of the game, however. Tracer. Very experienced Tracer here. He's been playing a lot of Tracer. Wreaking havoc just running around wherever he wants, really, because they have that chokehold on the other edge. The other uh, way to try and aggress on the point was they're completely covered. Look at that, just the DPS is amazing. The hit scan damage was gnarly. Yeah, I, it's so much hit scan damage. There's there's just really nothing you can do about it. The Pharah, they really tried to attempt, and that, that is really one of the best answers that you can get to Bastion, uh, but really no answer because that Bastion was, was placed so well that nobody could really get to him. Yeah. I, and, and if you did get to him, I mean, he's already lasing you in the face by the time you get there. <laughs> and Tetrum's there also with a, a turret. Uh, and the shield, everything, I I don't know. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know how I feel about that composition. I really hope that nobody else uses that against me in comp because I, I would hate that as well. I know how I feel about it. <laughs> feels bad, man. That's that, like, feels, feels bad, bad, man. bad against that. I mean... Can you imagine, it's already so hard to play offense on Blizzard World, period. Right. Playing against a setup that was as well executed as Utah just showed us. Absolutely phenomenal setup. Yeah. It it's super feels bad, man. So. I, I, I don't know. I didn't expect that. I thought I was going to see an anti-dive composition or more standard defense, but... That is something I've never seen before. I know, I, I, I am aware that Utah does like to run those protect the turret compositions, uh, whether it be a Torbjorn or, or a Bastion, but I did not know that that position existed on this map and that they could do that, and they, they executed it perfectly. I don't, I, don't, I don't know if there was a time that Bastion died other than when he was in tank mode and, and <laughs> couldn't kill the Pharah. And fell off. Into and the fell off. Right. Like, other than that, I don't, I don't know if Bastion even took damage. Yeah, I mean, he sat on his ult for, like, the entirety of that round. Oh, yeah, he didn't even need no to use need. it. He, no need. No, I mean, the Q button was non-existent. No need. I, I'm I mean, pretty just, sure he took the Q cap yeah, off. He just takes the cap off, throws it over his shoulder, and <laughs> like, I don't need this. Why would I need this button? It's, it does less damage from my current position. Right. So, uh, nice position. I love that setup. I want to try that. I want to try it, too. Would you rather be the Bastion, or would you rather be supporting the Bastion? I would rather be the Bastion. I, I'm a DPS player myself. Uh, I, I feel like I could, I could play Bastion pretty well. Uh, 
But, I mean, as far as support, I know CX Dave on that Mercy had a really good position. He was able to get back to the Bastion if he needed to and do the damage boost. But also, CX Dave, you saw him going to his team and healing them as well at those key moments. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and, and able to bounce between the two, I, I can't personally do that. I, I, I can't play Mercy that well. It takes a lot of awareness. Uh, you've got to be watching the health bars of your team. You've got to have full knowledge of what ultimates are available to maybe catch you in that rotation. Right. So really nice awareness, great mercy play. I mean, that's really good. That I, I like seeing that level of awareness from support players particularly because uh, with, with a hit scan DPS champion, what you're doing is you're watching your screen, you're trying to predict enemy movements so that you can land the headshots, you can land the damage and melt people's health bars. Right. But uh, as a support, you're watching that so that you don't die, right. and you're also watching your buddies to make sure that you're in the right places at the right time, like you mentioned. Healing over here, damage boost over there. I mean, if you can get 50% damage boost from your Mercy, 50% from the ultimate, the Supercharger, man, that is that is a scary Bastion if it isn't scary already on that uh, Yeah, uh, you know, luckily there is a damage boost cap. I yeah. believe it's like 70%. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, the, you don't get 100%. You don't basically get double the damage as Bastion, which, oh, that would be ridiculous. That would be nasty. Uh, but, uh, but, again, there's still so much damage boost coming out with that Supercharger and that Mercy, like you said. Yeah. So absolutely phenomenal play from Utah, regardless of the composition, it does take a lot to make that work as well. Yeah, it does. It's a lot of team coordination, a lot of setup, right. uh, and you can do that on defense. But You have time to set up on defense, luckily. But holding uh, it is a whole different ball game, right? right. You, you can get there, you can set up because you have the extra time on defense, but once those gates open, once they start their assault, it can be kind of scary to try and hold very stationary positions. But you know, we talked about the line of sight there on that position right. that was beautiful. But, I mean you couldn't you couldn't see him unless you were directly in front of him yeah and and that's crazy but his line of sight was basically the whole map <laughs> I mean the whole point he could see everything in front of him but you couldn't you couldn't see him unless you were in front of him and that's 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 amazing positioning I whoever figured that out props to you I know I know the coach of Utah uh, I don't know if anybody knows the name but snap ph phenomenal player I'm sh I'm sure he I'm sure they they've gone over so many so many plans with this and and I, I amazing. But next map Hanamura. Yeah, Hanamura. I love this map actually. I, I think it's I one of the most too. uh versatile, right? You can run a, a on the first point specifically, you can run pretty much any composition you want. Right. Yeah, there's 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 so many different different compositions you can run. Uh I I personally like I personally like slow post compositions. Uh, there's a lot of there's like a lot of different like areas you can go into uh, for those slow push compositions, like triple tank or quad tank. I like uh, pharmacy on this map. I, I think it's gnarly. Pharmacy on this map is gnarly as well, and Utah does have a very good pharmacy. Um, I, I mean, uh, players, uh, CX Dave being a very good Mercy, I, as we saw in that last match. Phenomenal Mercy play, and then Flame Turtle obviously playing a lot of Farah as well, but. Roles are a little bit reversed here. Yeah, Sin playing uh, some Genji. Sin's playing Genji, and Flame Turtle taking the role of that Zenyatta. They're giving Sin some fun. They're letting him play. Oh, maybe not. Uh, uh, the true question was going to be, will Sin out damage? <laughs> will Sin out damage? But now we see a McCree instead. Ooh, this I is like that. this is not this is half dive, half slow push. McCree McCree is very slow. There, he's he's going to rely a lot on sitting behind uh, uh, sitting behind Tetram and Dog Twenty One to soak up the damage while he deals out the damage. And Daddy J obviously on the Widowmaker as well, taking out Eye Progress. The Widowmaker duel goes to Daddy J. He's looking for those positions there. CX Dave getting up top, and now they're going to push onto the point. Yeah, I mean, the first push will come through because that backline is down. You can see the McCree. Struggling to land the headshots for the first little bit here. He's just going to try and take down the tank line, get their health bars low enough that they can make this pressure work for them. And come for the backline flank as well. He sees Eye Progress Ooh. on that tracer, gets the headshot, and forces the recall nice out. Recall. Very important. Eye Progress now has a very le uh, his health pool is gone. Gets the revenge kill though. Flame Turtle going to fall to the tracer. Eye Progress, you mentioned it. Great recall there into the blink forward. Nice flank. Ends up getting the McCree down. Sen playing DPS anyway. Gotten two picks there. It doesn't matter if he's on Genji or he's on Zenyatta. He's he's dealing damage anyway. Yeah, they are. Looks like they're just gonna back off. Regroup. Pretty convincing first point. Yeah, very convincing. A six and a half, over six and a half minutes still remaining for Objective B. Utah looking real strong with their push here. Well, Widowmaker play, really aggressive. Very aggressive Widowmaker, and this is exactly oh. what it. Ooh. Right click. Right click. 
<laughs> I'm liking this. There is the infrared. Another shot. Oh, there shot. goes not GM. He's looking for those supports. He sees Soldier. He sees him. He knows where he is. Soldier's not peeking him, though. Oh, there's the peek. And there he goes. Ooh, man, this is beautiful. Another Daddy headshot. Day. And here's the McCree ult. It's going to zone a little bit. Keep them in the shields. But they step out for just a moment. And that's it. That's the point. That's and a that's team gonna, kill. Is that going to be game? Will they They're respawn in time, make a push? I don't know. I think they're going to be able to hold him off the point here. Winston Contested. jumping onto point, though. Uh, and that, Headshots. Oh, Beautiful goes. McCree. More of the right clicks. Beautiful work there. Convincing second point as well. Oh. Convincing round from Utah. I have not seen a McCree come out with Utah at all. I guess it'll work. Flame Turtle. Very convincing McCree there play. When you he, get rezzed the first time and the only time you die, deathless game? A deathless game. I, I mean, I don't know if I'd, I... I I didn't see any other picks. I mean, I didn't see Utah really die. So, deathless round, flawless, I guess. They got a full team kill there at the end. A, a phenomenal play, honestly. I, I, I'm very surprised. Yeah, first show mash. Uh, it feels bad, but you mentioned it. Flex your muscles. Utah outclassing Arizona for the time being. But we'll switch sides here on Hanamura, and maybe we'll see a different story unfold. Maybe they're more comfortable on attack. Maybe their defense isn't as, well, isn't as good, but maybe they have a very strong attack. Arizona picking this map. They know, they know the map very clearly. As it is loser's pick here. So they might have something under their, under their noses here. Do you expect another stationary uh, hit scan <laughs> defense here from Utah, or do you think they'll play a little bit more aggressive on the defense? We might see the Torbjorn. Uh, the Torbjorn placement right next to the rock or right behind the rock uh, as well. Um, we might see that. If not, it's just going to be an anti-dive, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, but we could see a stationary. I, Utah, Utah knows how to play stationary compositions. They're good at it. Um, but you know, from what I'm looking at right here in our preview, I don't, I don't know if they're going to be playing that, that, yeah. that sort of composition. Yeah, interesting that there wasn't any uh, Farah in that last, uh, last round. Yeah, you know, they, they really haven't been Pushing out the fire from Flame Turtle, yeah, um, in these kind of situations, you know, I, I, clearly it's it's a little bit of an easier game, I guess, for Utah here against Arizona. So maybe they don't feel the need to get that far. Oh, I was or gonna mention the Sombra too. I hadn't seen that in any of the games so far, at least that I noticed. If they swapped onto it for even a moment, but gonna bring that out here. First little push. Chokehold's pretty good. Tank's really healthy as they actually breach the point. They're getting closer. Ooh, oh, nice Dom 21. Up. Counter hook there. Dot 21 falling down. Daddy J on the Hanzo taking out eye progress with the headshot. Yeah, that was really good from the Hanzo play and nice hack. Keeps him from healing there on the Roadhog, even with that nice counter hook. That's going to be Flame Turtle popping off on the Sombra. That's three quick kills in a row. Not quite a triple, but very quick succession. The hack on Flame. Ooh! That was some slick play, Zader. That, that was, I, I, I didn't expect that. I thought he was going to go land behind him, but no, that was an air hack. He came right above him and unexpectedly hacking that Reinhardt. No more shield. And that was that was the end of Reinhardt there. Yeah, we're barely oh, uh, a minute into this, and Flame Turtle almost has his ultimate available. Now Sombra has some of the fastest stacking of her ultimate passively in the game, but this is Ooh. looking real strong from them. Oh, Lucio, Ooh. watch yourself! This oh, is the Oh, hit the shield. I progress. He's he's zoning these people out right now. He knows what he's doing. But the EMP coming out from Flame Turtle, hitting almost everybody there uh, from Arizona. They don't have they don't have any abilities. They can't do much. And that's they're gonna fall. Yeah. Everyone Double is double kill, to fall. triple kill, four quick kills. That's almost an entire team wipe. As Reinhardt was the only one left alive. He's gonna back into the point because he just res. Change to the Winston agents now. Gonna try and tank for his team as they make maybe one more push here to try and defend. Now what's gonna be? I mean, try. Oh, man, this is just scrappy fight after scrappy fight. Nice Dog 21 coming oh. in with the flank! The flanking hook. Wow. I am impressed. I am impressed by the positioning of Utah right now and how they're able to get these picks. They're able to do this. Flame Turtle zoning with the, with the Dragon Strike there. Uh, not the Dragon Strike, but the... Uh, that's the Dragon Strike. Yeah, the there's, Dragon Strike. Right, and then there's Dragon Blade for Genji. Yeah, not quite the best usage I want to say it didn't it did a little bit of damage but it mostly just split the fight but there wasn't really anything to follow that up so I would have liked to see him hold that for a little bit longer but you can't really complain too much when you're dominating this much early on he's doing really good on this Hanzo Ooh. he's he's getting these picks he's getting these picks on Widowmaker he's getting the headshots he's he's doing the damage he gets a pick on the support daddy J is just popping off on this Hanzo right now 
Didn't expect this from Utah, and this is this is absolutely phenomenal play right now. Really Arizona's strong. having a really hard time getting past this choke point. Really strong hold. They're struggling to make their push while Utah's holding on to four. Almost five now is quarter of the way away here for Flame Turtle to have his ultimate. That'll be so many resources available to them. You can see, I progress. He's gonna help his team maybe make a push here with the infrared, but you can see they have a full on hold on that entrance. Oh, Daddy to J dropping severely low there getting yeah. all the heals though I, I i don't know this is this is this is insane i i am very surprised that utah is doing Ooh. this kind of hold. whole hog though does a lot of damage sets them up for a push that's pretty nice I, it's it's pretty nice yeah dog 21 doing a very good very good job kind of pushing everybody out countering this push making it so that they can, really can't get past this choke point now they're gonna fall back to the the point as there was, it looks like, I, I guess, Revenos and, uh, and Super Micro there had yeah. flanked back to the point, but... Utah uh, just staggering their ultimates, not really in any situation where they have to use anything. They're just using kind of, oh. I mean, this is Showmatch, right? It's just for fun. They're just using whatever they feel like using. Nice counter there from Genji. He's going to get healed back up. This is going to be the push. This is the push for them. This is what they need. Ooh, However, that nice EMP hack. coming out. That's going to stop the push, I, <laughs> I, I believe. No, no, Zenyana still has his ultimate. The Transcend is coming in. They're actually able to push onto the point here. And a lot of Utah falling to, to all of Arizona. Arizona might take this first point, and we might see them actually have time to push a second point. They're going to get an extra two minutes, two minutes, 30 seconds, I believe, here to get the second point. They did wipe Utah. Doc21 sitting in the back, probably going to stall for as long as he can, waiting for his team to get back. Uh, taking out eye progress, he's doing as much of a stall as, as possible, but... Two out of three, they back off. They're not going to keep contesting. They're going to reset, regroup to defend Objective B. You mentioned it. Four minutes are awarded to them. They have four minutes to try and take Objective B. Oh, man, this is super scary, though. Even if they can do it, they still have a lower score because it's taken us so long to actually just get Objective A. Oh, they got an extra four minutes. I forgot. Yeah, no, it's a long time. I was, I was wrong. But Genji with they do have a long time to get this this point here. And we'll, actually, we'll, we'll, set, we'll have to see exactly how this goes. And uh, they're, they're, they're taking the very casual push route here. This the is top a right. scary chokehold to try and make it through when Flame Turtle has now finally switched to the Farah he's so well known for. That's a lot of damage. Splash and coming through in the AoE chokehold. Yeah. Tetrum also getting picks there. Flame Turtle and Tetrum popping off, getting all the picks. Sin getting taken out on that Ana, though. And the Diva falls before pressing Q. That's crazy to me. Oh, nice pick there on NotGM on the side. They're just going to squad wipe, try and regroup, reset, and make one more push. They still got plenty of time. Three minutes left. I progress switching to the McCree. Ooh. Uh, wanting to counter that Farah now. Yep. Uh, I'd, I'd, I'd honestly like to see a soldier a little bit more reliable. Uh, it is. But Flame Turtle also doesn't have a Mercy on his side. So McCree is, is, is pretty viable without the Mercy there on the side. And here we see the Dragon Strike coming in, uh, kind of pushing them out of their position here. Flame Turtle also taking advantage of them getting pushed out of the position, falling really low, however. Ooh, almost picking Flame Turtle. Nice shield there from Winston. I gotta say, I feel like they should have a prescription for a pharmacy right now because <laughs> without that level of healing or the damage boost, uh, you're kind of a really squishy composition. All you've really got is Lucio for healing and... I They're running mean, triple a, DPS. Yeah, it's a lot of damage, and only two minutes left. If you get wiped at this point, you could be risking losing. I mean, not the I'm game losing overall. Losing the second point, but this is going to be the push. They're starting off with the Lucio, uh, with the Lucio boost here, and here we see Daddy J getting taken out by not GM, focusing Ooh, him out, nice. getting Flame Turtle as well in the air. Sound barrier does work there to set up the Dragon's Blade. Man, that nice push from Genji, but he does die on the point. Nice defense here, Tetrum. Playing aggressive on Winston sets up the barrier to help his team play super far forward on this defense. Remember, still just about two minutes, a little less than remaining. So not all is lost for Arizona. They can still make one more push, but they don't have the ults this time around. They, they don't, but Arizona still has that Diva Bomb. They didn't use it during that push. They're not using all of their ultimates. They're not, com they're not using their full utility. And I don't, I don't know why. They, they could have used that Diva Bomb to kind of spread Utah out and, 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 and get more picks, but they didn't. They're saving this Diva Bomb. I don't know if they want something big. I don't know if they want to play the game, but they need to get more use out of this Diva. Nice headshot there with some of the shurikens, but rounding the corner, doesn't expect the Bastion. Still alive for just a moment, but there is the Diva. Oh, as you said, actually finds no one. So now they're down that key spell. They're going to try and make a push with it. That's going to be... 
counter ult there. Sound Barrier is going to keep everyone healthy. Daddy J gets taken out. That's some of the DPS down. The tank is gone. That's two more falling. They could be making a push here. Okay. Arizona, three on the point. Trying Central, to stop on the main. On the main. This is they're, they're doing a full hold here. Utah is actually worried. Utah is worried. They're switching to compositions that in, they, they need to hold, and they can stall as much as possible. You're is that see it? The main. This may, this could be it. If Utah can pull off here, look at it. They're getting two picks. This is what the hold that we want to see from Utah. Phenomenal. Zeta, this is so close. This is a nail biter finish. Two of the points have already been taken. Two ticks. Two, two ticks of the point. Man, this is so close. They still have 15 seconds to make one last strong push here, and they almost have three ultimates available. Lucio, you're going to have to stack that up. You need the sound barrier for this last push when there's so much of damage in this composition for Utah. The hold is true for the moment. Tetrum with a nice barrier that goes up at the last second. Nice flank here from the Genji. And here we see Tierfing protecting his team, healing, uh, healing as much of his team as possible. They want to be able to get this push. They want this extra, this last 33%. Uh, not GM pulling off the Dragon Blade, pushing everybody back out, out off of the point, getting through three picks there. Maybe, uh, unfortunately, getting talking out, taken out by Dog21. This is, uh, they're not focusing on Dog21 right now. He's able to deal a lot of damage. Lucio coming out with the ultimate as well. Yeah, Dog21, man. He says, are you playing D.Va? That's my hero. Takes him out, and that's going to be... A defeat. Utah, man, taking a nice victory, but that was so close. Arizona almost making a convincing push at the end there. Extremely close there. Uh, Arizona, really good push out there. We're going to see I Progress get these two picks as McCree on the Deadeye here from up top. And this is where they're going to put, they're, they're going to start this push and where they're going to get the, uh, the very key 66% that they got here. Yeah, takes out the other McCree, says, let me show you how it's done. Gets a couple kills. Great play there. Arizona putting up a true fight. That was awesome to watch. That was an absolutely true fight. They did a phenomenal job. Arizona not tilting at all. They know that they can push. They know they have a good team. They know that they, they have a chance, and they haven't given up yet, which I love to see. I yeah. love to see players with that kind of mindset and that kind of attitude that they, 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 they're not giving up. Yeah. Don't take a breath. It's a show match, yes, but you get to put your best foot forward, put your play on a show. And Arizona giving us quite the show when that last match was so close. It was very, very close. Yeah. We could have seen them go into a second round or, say, you know, kind of a second game there uh, if they, if they both, both did a full push. Utah obviously would have had more time. But... Uh, Arizona, they, they knew what they were doing. They had that attack, and they were able to pull through on those last-minute pushes. That overtime push to get the first point, and then there with the, the last minute, maybe minute 30 to go, getting the 66% the, the, the there on the bar. Yeah. Really, really impressive. They got two ticks. I mean, Zader, when University of Utah has been so dominant in the Pac-G series so far, they come into a show match like this against one of the lower teams in terms of rating at this point, when they choose to go triple DPS and get trounced for it, what does that tell you about maybe the overconfidence that Utah might have at this point? I, I think there was a little bit of overconfidence there, for sure. And I, don't, I, I think Utah is now realizing that they, they can't do that and they need to not be doing that. Uh, really scary to see Utah kind of falter there when they, they pulled that triple DPS. Yeah. And, and I think once they realize it, they, they, they realize, oh, wait, we can't do this. You know, we're, just because it's a show match doesn't mean you want to lose these games. You still want to make sure you can win. You, you don't want, you know, you don't want your really show match score to go down either. Yeah. But out of their range, uncomfortable, not what they wanted to do. Yeah, when you're 33% away from handing a game over to a team that you should not drop a single game to, right. probably shouldn't even drop a tick of a point to, to be right. honest, if you're playing at the top of your game, uh, it becomes extremely scary to see them lose 60%, 66%, two-thirds of a point. But, I mean, most of that has to be said. Props to Arizona bringing out their best possible play on Hanamura there. Really close. But that'll be 2-0 to zero so far now. So far. Uh, next map should be a uh, King of the Hill. King of the Hill point, huh? um, I believe. I would love to see... Uh, a more aggressive dive composition from Arizona on a King of the Hill map. I would love to see them play, almost play Utah's game and try and beat them at it. It is a show match, so you can try a little bit. Lee Jong Tower is going to be the one that we have for this next game. So, hmm, what would you like to see on this map? 
You're going to see pharmacy. Yeah. You're going to see it. Pharmacy. You're going to see it Doc on two of the three maps. Dr. Zader here. You heard it here first, folks. The prescription is in. Pharmacy for which comp? Which Utah. team? Utah is going to play the pharmacy here. No. They're going to play it on gardens, and they're going to play it on... Uh, oh, no. What's the other map? I forgot what the other map is. But they're not going to play it on Space Center, on mm -hmm. Control Center. Uh, that, that's, that's where we're not going to see the Farmer see. Uh -huh. if, it goes, if it goes to all three, or if Control Center pops up, uh, Farmer is not going to show up. It doesn't okay. work as well. But we're going to see it on the other two points. All right. What do you expect from the front line? Just still sticking to their guns or their laser guns? Uh, so you're going to have to... I mean, we probably will see a lot of Winston and Diva. Uh, if they're going to keep uh, Tetrum and Dog21 there. Yep. And if they swap out with Mutatone, uh, they might, we might see more Reinhardt. We might see, uh, you know, a little bit more of a of a static composition mm -hmm. uh, with a bigger shield, but it, it really it really depends. They're able to do this full dive though. How I, I think the front line is going to say the same. So talk to me for Utah. If they do swap out to their sub from Mutatone, who are they trading out, and what does that do to their composition that they're likely to have? They're going to trade out Tetrum. Okay. Uh, that's usually what they do. They mm -hmm. they they put Mutatone in for Tetrum. So no uh, Winston. What do we see instead? We're gonna see Reinhardt. Okay. Like uh, like we like I said before, we're probably gonna see a, a lot of Reinhardt. Uh, we also might see more uh, Roadhog and Roadhog Diva or maybe Zarya Reinhardt uh, in that 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 sort of composition uh, because. Dog21 also plays a, a, a very good Zarya as well. Mm. Uh, and that's, that's most likely what we're going to see in uh, Control Center. And if they bring in Tandon, who's being subbed out, what are we going to see the changes be? Daddy J is going to be subbed out with Tandon. Most likely we can see a lot more Genji and Tracer okay. from Tandon. And I like that. A little bit less, more aggressive. And less Widowmaker. So a lot more, yeah, a lot more aggressive, like you said. Yeah. So really exciting to kind of see if, uh, if, these, if these substitutes go out. Uh, I'm looking in right now, and it looks like Tandon and Mutatone are cool. going to come in and sub. Nice. So we should see Reinhardt, maybe some Genji. I like Genji on Gardens specifically. I like Genji on Gardens as well. Very, very strong character in that map. Yeah. I think both Genji and Tracer struggle a little bit more once they move into the control point, um, the second phase. But both of them do pretty well on Gardens. I just like Genji a little bit more because you have a lot of walls that you can used to set up your plays. A lot of walls, the, you, 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 like you said, lo a lot of wall climbing and a lot of, uh, kind of, a lot of areas that you can kind of peek out, peek in, yeah. escape, uh, which is really unique. We also might see Sombra because Ooh. of this. We might see a lot of Sombra uh, countering that Genji because I can't wall climb his Genji anymore with it, but that new hack changed. I like uh, Sombra on the second point because there, there are so many uh, really contestable health packs that you really want to have full control of if you're actually going to take point and hold it the entire time. Right. And I think that's why Sombra is so strong now. Yeah. Because you can hold all those health packs. Your, your hack cooldown is lower. Your hack time is lower. And you can get a lot more usage out of it. So we might see Flame Turtle playing a lot more Sombra, which I think will be really fun. Yeah. I think Sombra is a lot of fun to watch with the, so many different play styles. You can play here as a dedicated flank uh, character, hacking the main tanks, you know, hacking Reinhardt, hacking Lucio, hacking those healers, uh, and kind of sitting in the back, being kind of a pest. Uh, but you also see you're playing a lot more in the back with her team, hacking those health packs, kind of denying the, the usage there, yeah. but also protecting your team if, you know, a flanker comes around if you see a tracer. And neither one of these rounds on this map are really... Uh, Widow friendly. So talk to Not me about I progress. What what do you expect to see out of them? I I I'm I saw him play soldier. Mm -hmm. He he does have a good soldier. I, I I was I was seeing that. So we we might see him play a lot more soldier and a lot more McCree. Uh, I don't know I don't know really what else he plays here. Uh, he they, we could see a tracer from him. Mm -hmm. uh, I would like to see a tracer. I think tracer is a very strong c hero and I think a uh, very strong kind of a character to have in your team if the if you have a good player. Uh, very, you know, not very many counters to Tracer really at all, honestly. Uh, and if you're if you're a good Tracer, it's kind of game winning, honestly. Yeah. Might see a McCree answer it, but on these points, very difficult, I think, to actually get those picks. It, it is difficult, and then the flashbang predictions on the Tracer as well are are really hard, especially if you play, you're playing against a Tracer that that can kind of bait that those flashbangs out. Because once you bait that flashbang out, you win.
You would yeah, not find There's him. nothing McCree can really do. Yeah, nobody's and unless, that fast. Unless he's some sort of phenomenal McCree with absolutely precise aim, getting a headshot and a body shot. I, I mean, really, Tracer can one clip you. You're talking about their McCree. Because every time I have a McCree on my team, oh, they're yeah, not they what don't you're do describing. That. They don't do that at all. <laughs> it's always the their McCree does everything. Our McCree never does enough. And this this composition is actually is is actually what I expected here from Utah when when we made these sub these substitutes. Mutatone and Dog Twenty One on Reinhardt and Zarya respectively. And now we're gonna see Tandon and Flame Turtle playing uh, you know, kind of different DPSs here. But Death Ball composition. Everyone's gonna be sticking to get together. There's gonna be so much centralized damage here from Utah. And Arizona is gonna have to we say I progress on Tracer like I like like I had mentioned. Yeah, uh, it is so the Tracer that comes through. Nice scrappy fight. The May makes this a really interesting fight, knocking off Agent Snow. Kind of an unfortunate pick there, but you can see the Tracer versus May 1v1. Not going too well for Flame Turtle. He's not actually landing anything. He's not nice able to find there. anything. I progress. What is this strafing from the Tracer? Oh, finally lands one, but there's the recall to get that health back. What a crazy 1v1. What an absolutely there. crazy 1v1 to watch there. Flame Turtle, just, he's just throwing all the right clicks out. He's not even he's not even using his 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 uh, his snow there at all. He's not, he's not blowing any snow, not trying to slow anybody down. The, he's just trying to, to do as much damage as possible. And here we see the Death Ball composition working as expected. Everyone's in a group. Everyone's doing what they need to be doing. And uh, there's the really big health pool. Sin and CX Dave able to just provide AOE healing all over the place. Yeah, I mean, Utah, they're getting the point. It's ticking as the time passes. And you can see Super Micro only halfway towards his ult. They need that Graviton as soon as possible. Ooh, nice push here, though. Utah, nice choke hold. They're going to regen the up. Eye progress, maybe? Contesting the point there? That, it that, is. There it is. There Sneaky it is. Tracer. CX Dave dealing with him pretty well, though. Yeah. Getting him down to, to I, I believe it was 40 health there. Very Finally impressive. Finally landing some of that hit scan onto the Tracer. That Sneaky Tracer on the back line. Finally ticking some points. Super Micro now two-thirds of the way. They need that Death Ball to come online as soon as possible. They, they I progress. Really getting back there again. Had already used first nade. Oh, and here we see... Graviton Surge coming out. Tandon getting taken out, though, so they're not really able to take full oh, advantage well, of that really. Graviton Surge, and Arizona's going to capitalize on that. Yeah, the counter push is real. You can see Lucio's just like, see ya, I'm going to get on the point, start contesting it, healing back up. Nice. High charge from Dog 21, though. He's dealing so much damage. He is, but he has to actually land those laser beams. That's... Nice dodge out from the Lucio. He's going to heal up the team. There is the Graviton. They're getting sucked in. There's not actually the ball available. Oh, nice Earth Jock into a pin. That's going to be a Tandon. dead CX. Tandon using the Death Blossom, though, taking out both of the supports from Arizona. This is a very really convincing hold from Utah. That's where it's going to fall, though. Oh, man. Now, nice flank from NotGM. He's getting some good pot shots off from the side here. Using the nice bounces off the wall. Normal Trying Junkrat play. Yeah, normal Junkrat play, but. Not quite finding the damage at this point. He has to play a little bit more forward, but it's scary to do against the composition. A death ball composition like this. When yeah. you're in the middle of that, there's a lot of damage coming out to you. Here we see Tandon getting off of the Reaper, now playing Tracer. Tracer, very strong on Tandon. Very good. Nice. Zoning away the damage that Arizona tries to put through. Two coalescents just come through trying to answer each other. And there's going to be a Riptire. Where will it be? There it is above, not actually not going to get anybody anything. at all. Nice block there from the Reinhardt. That's why you sub that guy in. Oh you no, the pin the onto Flame Turtle. Utah not able to take this point back. Yeah, the Arizona. Sound, the sound barrier was real there. Getting a lot. Oh, forgets that the shielding's gone, and he's actually just gonna fall. The tracer finally gets caught out. Progress gonna have to respawn. I, uh, uh, I don't know. Arizona really convincing push, and then really convincing hold. Utah maybe not maybe needs to make a little bit of switch here. Uh, we do see the 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 flame turtle going on to junk wrap. So they're making the essential switches that they need. Graviton available here and so close. There is going to be the ultimate will come through. Nice choice. But Five people there awkwardly on different edges of that pillar. So you can't actually get that. In fact, they don't even get a wipe out of it. But now it's going to get answered with the same graviton in reverse. Nice coalescence goes through, oh, the sound barrier to keep them healthy and alive. Utah's using everything on this push. Yes, they are. They have to because you can see ticking towards that 90%. This is not one of those maps that you see a 99-99 game, but we might actually see that come through here. Nice contest. 
from Utah. They're making the push. There's the cap. 85, 86. They're approaching 90%. Yeah, there has now, to be a strong counter here from Arizona, Arizona or they're going to lose it. Arizona is also staggered here. Agent Snow still has about three seconds here on, the, on, on his death timer. He's coming back. Arizona is going to have to trickle back in onto the point here. Even if they are even able to make it, no, they're not. Utah 100% to 94. Arizona really, really convincing play, though. That was so close of a game there. Really beautiful to see that round play out. Zader, that was really cool to see the counter ultimates, coalescences flying past each other, the Graviton sucking in those teams. That was really cool. Intense game, Superman. Absolutely intense. I I, I had a lot of fun watching that game. That the, was you cool. saw we saw Graviton surges coming out everywhere. We saw rip tires coming out all over the place. We saw the May I don't even know how that was working, but it was. We saw the May eventually getting switched off, though. But, I mean, everything coming out. Like you said, the coalescences, coalescences and everything. But here we go. Back on the second map, it looks like now we're on Gardens. Uh, no, this is There's gardens. the pharmacy. Yeah. As you prescribe, Dr. Zader, you're going to get that. Flame Turtle Utah. and CX Dave, they're going to go with the classic Farah Mercy to try and make the first push here. Not quite an unlocked point. Can't this is really actually a really crazy fight this early, right on top of the point. Look Everybody's this nice flank. on point. But look at that flame turtle in CX Dave sitting in that window. Uh, they have they have a lot of a uh, lot of mobility and a lot of places to peek down. Flame turtle getting a lot of picks and cleaning up house there. That was like a Bastion configuration tank cosplay, just standing still, firing the rockets from the ceiling. Really crazy that they're able to just stand there. Nice actual straight direct hit. That almost completely took out. Scaring that Zenyatta there. That Zenyatta yeah. that has, to, that has to be very careful. If a damage boosted uh, rocket hits Zenyatta, it's almost guaranteed death. Not quite hitting any more though. Ooh, falls the to the backside. That Super flank, flank could be scary though if you get caught out of position with your rockets on cooldown. Oh, Dog 21 falling down. Uh, Utah's down both of their tanks. Mutato and Dog 21 are both down. This is Arizona's push. This is where Arizona wants to capitalize. Yeah, McCree trying to track that far a nice stun into combo cx dave cx dave puts down a lot of that damage boost for the barrage but it doesn't actually find any targets and you can see arizona actually in control of the point here they take it back over though a third of it was already complete for utah utah has to regroup reconsider their strategy because without the far actually there on the map at There's David. not much they can do. Progress here looking real clean on the McCree. Really clean on the McCree right now. He already has his ultimate up. He's getting very key picks here. Uh, he got taken out by the Mercy there early on, but you know, understandable, he was low health. Look at the charge uh, here on Super Micro, though. Very and really high in charge. control of the point, that's huge for them. They're holding this point very well. Sim taking out eye progress. This is this is Utah's chance to push in. They have a pick and they have that hack. That was such a beautiful combo. The mute there came through, hacking them away into the Earth Shatter. Didn't quite actually net them as much as they would want, but just about as best as they could hope for. They're going to recap the point. Now they're trying to match that same percentage that Arizona had accrued for themselves. I, this is a really nice counter push here. It's very even, very yeah. even right now. Just like we saw on the last round. I want to see it get just as close. Arizona's Maybe a 99-99 again, Zader. Yeah, Arizona seems very comfortable on this map. Ooh, nice block there. Really nice shield there from Dog21 blocking that flashbang. Great reaction time. Here is going to be the Graviton. It's going to pull them all in. Dog21 getting taken out by Agent Snow. Uh, Utah is down one now. Mutatone is alone on the point. CX Dave flying over to him, trying to save his life. Utah needs to capitalize coming in. Barrage. Flame Turtle coming on the top. Rocket Barrage, immense amount of damage there. Agent Snow almost has no shield. Utah is able to capitalize even with one man down. Oh, man. Any more plays like that, and it's a complete overdose of the pharmacy at this point. That was a really great play. The flank came through. Barrage didn't quite delete everyone, but it put the pressure there for certain so that Utah could recap that point, keep it in their control. Yeah. Now the push will have to be real for Arizona because there's only 8% left. This is going to be that final push. You can see Super Micro, he's charged up 70% of the way, trying to get a little bit more damage. Now they're trying to recap it. This is overtime. They almost recap they kept the point. The point they back. got it. Oh Utah my got goodness. off the point. Utah not sitting on the point. What Arizona is able to take that point back. 
This is real. That's that's not good for Utah. Utah does not want to be doing that. Flame Turtle is going to fall. Tandon, 52 health. Either needs to back off or die here. 99, 99, Zayner, because look, it was 99%. They were in overtime, contesting the point, and somehow they just misstep. Utah just gets off the point for just seconds long enough for Arizona to take it back. But now it's a full on contest. Utah completely in control. This should just be a few seconds. There is overtime. The bar is almost gone. Will they find it? No, they will not. They will Reinhardt not find was back the, front. To the point. Can't quite charge to the point. And that's going to be the victory for Utah. But once again, a really close round between these two teams. Absolutely close round. I don't know about you, Superman, but Arizona convincing play here on Lijong Tower. And Tandon taking that play of the game away. Is this the one with Sombra. the push? The full hack here. Yes, that Six was man beautiful. EMP, it looks like. Or maybe a four man. I, I couldn't see everybody, but absolutely beautiful EMP. Tandon, great Sombra play. Yeah, and that was right, right when they were hoping to make a counter push. Utah was in position there. Man, that was awesome to see these two teams go head to head. Yes, Utah, favorite win. I mean, they win, and they, they win they convincingly win. when they're not trolling with triple DPS. But, I mean, those last few rounds in particular were a pleasure to watch. Absolute pleasure. Arizona. Yeah, it's phenomenal, phenomenal play from Arizona. Yeah. They, they, they took the points back. They had great pushes. They had yeah. great holds. They had great defenses, great teamwork from Arizona. Honestly, probably scaring Utah here. Uh, even with their 0-2 score, Arizona still is strong. And you know, you mentioned how uh, unless you're a god-tier McCree that hits all the headshots, McCree's not going to do everything you want against a pharmacy. But progress in that round, very good. His McCree seemed to prove you wrong, Zayder. He's like, "Hey, it's not a legend. It's not a myth. I am that McCree, and let me show you how it's done." It was a pleasure to watch him hit those shots. I, I, I man, it was a pleasure to watch everybody in this match. I mean, Utah had great plays. Arizona had great plays. I, I mean, we saw we saw Super Micro sitting on a high charge Zarya that whole game. We saw Agent Snow really great Reinhardt play the whole game. I saw him getting picks. I saw him having great shields. That shatter was beautiful. The shatter was beautiful. Phenomenal play from Arizona. But as well, we saw Flame Turtle on that Fera getting really key picks, getting yep. a lot of damage in. We saw Tandon on that Sombra. Hacks all over the place. Play of the game. Great play. Yeah, play of the game. Great flanks. Great everything. Both Utah and Arizona, great, both great teams here, I, honestly, on this. You know, Utah's having a 3-0 match score right now, but I, I don't know. Arizona's, Arizona's killing it. Yeah, I mean, I've seen this in other titles, too, for Pac-G, where even the lower edge of the standings, the teams that occupy that space still give us really competitive showings in all of the games so it's nice to see that arizona still putting their best foot forward even in a show match against the top rated team so far in the pack g top rated teams whether or not being in a separate division they're still going against this top rated team and they're still holding their own they're doing a really good job giving them a run for their money i mean these close them a real rounds run for their money. have utah, been a pleasure yeah utah is gonna have to either make some changes or, or feel a little bit more comfortable what? what kind of changes would you like to see from arizona to maybe take this next round uh, from arizona yeah I, I, to I maybe mean, take a game Maybe uh, just around at I least. Think, I think they need to keep eye progress on the Hiscan DPS. Okay. They need to take him off the Widow, but they need okay. to keep him on the more consistent Hiscan DPS. So he what? He did Soldier? phenomenal. So Soldier and McCree. Okay. Yeah. I, I think uh, he did phenomenal on those on those yeah. on those characters. I think. And I think uh, I think. What was it? Uh, Agent Snow on that Reinhardt? Mm -hmm. Phenomenal play. As well as uh, Super Micro on the Zarya. The, those two did very well with that Reinhardt-Zarya mm -hmm. combo. Uh, that's, a, that's a strong combo on its own. <laughs> but, they, but the two worked together really well. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think Arizona needs to keep those those heroes there. Uh, they they seemed to be very comfortable. So I think they need to pay what they're more comfortable with. We saw not GM, you know, getting onto Genji or this or that, you know, get, trying to get the flanks, you know, not quite working out. Yeah, but not finding what he needs to do. So we but so we want to see not GM on also on heroes that he's more comfortable with. Uh, I can't remember what he really played there um, that last map, uh, but. But we want to see him on, the, on those comfortable characters. And well, I let's think take stock of what we've seen so far between these two teams. Let's take a look at the maps. You can see Blizzard World was convincing for Utah. They smashed both defense and offense. Yeah. It was 
uh, dirty. It was, it was <laughs> dirty. Say, that, that Blizzard it was World painful game. to watch that bastard. That's set that's up. that's when I thought that Arizona was was gonna get rolled, and I, I you know I, I started losing a little bit of hope for Arizona. But then we got Har- Hanamura. Yeah, that was a lot closer. They took a point. Mm-hmm. They had those overtime pushes. Yeah. They had those very key pushes there. I I, I started seeing Arizona play. Mm-hmm. I started seeing them as a team work together. Yeah, and you can see that when they get their map choice. They're comfortable with those, and they know what strategy works for them. Their teamwork is there. That's why they're able to take a point on Hanamura. And the Lee Jong, both rounds, really, really close. Really, really close. I, I mean, extremely close. I mean, I, I, think, I think they got at, l- at least 90% both games. Yeah. Right? If, <laughs> if, if, you know, if not, maybe 85. Uh, close but, enough. Uh, yeah, but close enough, but convincing. I, I, I think Arizona, this is the last map here that we're going to have. It looks like it's Route 66. Yep. And I, I think if they keep... If they, if they keep the same kind of confidence and, uh, and play style that we saw in Lijiang Tower, I think they have a chance of taking this, this map completely. So which would you rather see, McCree for the hitscan, or do you want to see Soldier on this particular map? I think I want to see, I th- I want to see Soldier. Uh, if, if, he f- if he's feeling more comfortable on Widow, it's, it, this, is a, this is a pretty good Widow map. But if not, I want to see Soldier. That's more reliable. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it, it's more reliable damage. And uh, you're going to need a lot of shield break for Route 66. Too bad. Not going to see the old Western get his kicks on Route not gonna 66. Not going to say, yeah, we're not going to see the old Western. We might. We might. But Soldier, probably the better option. You mentioned it's a little bit more reliable. Can do a little it's bit a more. Break. Yeah. That's definitely it. Soldier, just the classic all around safe pick I, for yeah. anything. The classic <laughs> DPS character, the yep. classic shooter, right? Yep. I mean, yeah, I mean, you got a gun, and you left click, and it fires bullets. I Great. Mean, that's, real, that's all you need, right? Real complicated. Practice that at home. <laughs> but Rook 66 should be good. Again, this is Loser's Choice, so this is Arizona. They've looked stronger and stronger, it seems, on each map they've now chosen in a They're row. They're getting more and more confident. Yeah, more and more confident. The teamwork is already there. We're not seeing a lot of missteps in their communication. Not at all. Not really. So we'd like to see uh, maybe even one step better the performance here. Because, it, I mean, they took a point on Hanamura really close both rounds on Legion Tower. Maybe here on Route 66 will the answer be there for Arizona. Yeah. And I'm, I'm sitting here seeing the preview and iProgress is doing exactly what I told him to do. He's playing Soldier. He's playing that safe pick. I like it. I like it a lot. It looks like a really strong front line here for Arizona. They're going to be setting up a really strong defense. Do they hold this corner or do they back up and hold closer to the gas station? It's a double. It's a double. It's a double turret composition here, though. Ooh. It's very stationary here. They're getting, they have the time to set up. They have a Torbjorn turret and they have it and they have the Bastion. This Riss is, is going to be protecting the Torbjorn and Reinhardt's going to be tur- protecting that Bastion. Flame Turtle has sets up that Ooh. turret and now he's able to flank. This is exactly what we want to see. Tannen getting pulled off, but he's going to be able to get back on the point. They're not able to capitalize on Tannen getting pulled off. Oh and, man, uh, this 7v6 payload just looks gnarly. Oh, but great pull there from Arissa. Separates the team. There's the Torpedo and Turret gone. There that we go. flank is Both not turrets as strong are dead. Now. now Utah can't set up. This is exactly what I wanted to see from Arizona. Arizona, phenomenal play. They can't. Utah does not have time to set up. Uh, we're most likely going to either see them switch or they're going to have to get a team wipe and then push back onto that payload to set back up. But Flame Turtle still in the back in the back here, providing a flank and uh, and kind of providing annoying turrets here on the high ground. We're getting pretty low. Here's the 1v1. Nice shot. Not GM. He's showing his skill here with the nice ricochets. Some Not classic play. Here's the rip tire. Will we see it come through? Reinhardt put the shield down. Oh, Dog 21 getting taken out on that Reinhardt. Uh, and we also see Sin on, on that Symmetra. Uh, I don't know. They're able to, they're still pushing this turret. That is the, this turret, duh. the payload, it, it basically is a turret. At this right? Point. It's a running <laughs> turret. Oh man, the Molten Core didn't really do anything for them, but you know what is? Tannen here! It's gonna time out, but he got a couple of kills during the duration of his ultimate. And they set back up! Yeah. yeah. How do you get to do that? In motion, reset, set back up. They don't... Is that a Torbjorn turret? I can't quite tell. I think that's just Bastion on the front there's, there. There's a Bastion on the front, and Torbjorn's trying to get his turret there on the back, but Orisa's butt is too big. There we go. Blocking that turret. Yep. He had to move. Get out of my way. Gets it up to level two. Not quite with his ultimate anywhere near. So I no think level he had three. used it there. Uh, he did. On it that did first not initial. last though. On the very last push, nearing the checkpoint, using the molten core, but he got nothing for it because he just got deleted during its duration. Unlucky there. Absolutely deleted. The turret going down again. Yeah, that's but very Tandon's good. But still alive. 
Uh, so Flame Turtle, he's doing his best. He's hiding behind the turret. He's staying alive, which you want. You uh, if the Torbjorn's alive, he's still useful. Yep. He's able to get the turret set back up, and uh, you know, regardless if it's taken down, but he's also able to deal a lot of damage. We see Flame Turtle doing a really good job dealing Ooh. damage as Torbjorn himself and not relying on the turret. And here we see Tandon on getting a, a boost there, and I, I don't know. There's just Arizona scared. Yeah. Configuration tank doesn't really do much for them. It's hard to hit those rockets straight into a mobile target in the air. A couple of mobile targets. The pharmacy is now here. No, nope, not quite. Is here. Oh, it looks I mean, like they dropped the far. Uh, oh, excuse me. I was looking at Arizona. They do have it. And do almost have it. double ults. If they can actually have teleporter, teleporter in the Ooh, back. This could yes? be gnarly here for Utah if they can get it set up. Deploy? Shield gen? Shield gen. Shield gen. They're confident. Right. They, they don't want to teleport. They want a shield gen. There's a lot of health here now in Utah. They have Torbjorn armor. They have sh Symmetra shields. This is indefensible. Look at that hit scan damage. It's all buffed up. The shields are there too. Even the sentry turrets falling do don't really matter at that point. Progress. Able to take out something, but not able to help the push. Stop. Look at how much health Utah has. They've got shields. Uh, they've got shields. They've got yep. shields. Do they have shields? <laughs> Something like that, man. The high seas here for this pirate ship. Just, I mean, how do you stop something like this? There's a full cone of shielding and barriers around them. Finally able to take a good fight. They take out the turrets, but the payload's still in motion. Almost there, just a few meters away. Here's the last little push. The barriers that's in it. front, and that's going to be it. Utah with a convincing push on the payload. I mean, like, did everybody there, other than Torbjorn trying to get the flanks, get that achievement for the 100 meters without leaving the payload? I mean, that's what it looked like to I me. I mean, it, se it seemed like, I mean, maybe maybe that first point there uh, where the gas station yeah, was. kind of split a little uh, bit. Maybe they, maybe they split a little bit. Maybe they got off. But uh, I, I don't know. That was, that was impressive. Uh, Utah, double turret, holding it. Holding their own, Flame Turtle. I don't know if Flame Turtle actually died as Torbjorn himself. I think he stayed alive that whole game. He died the one time when he was using Molten Core at the last edge of that first checkpoint. But that was it. That and was other it. Other than that, he that was just phenomenal. Torbjorn game and putting out the damage. That I was, wish I had that Torbjorn on my team. Yeah, it's that feel, right? When you see somebody feel. who's putting out a lot of damage, they're a nice damage carry. You always have those flashbacks to your own solo matches where you're like, oh, I remember playing against that. That feels real bad. And then you rarely can remember the times where you have one of those on your team because the matches are just so short. They're such oh, smashes so when you have such short. a good player putting out so much damage that you just quickly win in like two minutes per point. So eh, could see a, a little bit more of that from Utah, but they're going to now be looking to put on a defense. Put on a really good defense. And I just... You know, I think Arizona. I think Arizona is still playing strong, yes. but I don't think they were expecting that. No, who was? I, I don't think anybody was expecting that. That's a very weird composition to see. <laughs> I mean, they had barriers <laughs> on front and back. Arista shielding the backside. Reinhardt setting up in front and double turrets. They have so much defense. I mean, just imagine. Almost every character on their team had a, a had armor. Uh, the tanks obviously had their own armor, but stacked Torbjorn armor. Stacked with barriers protecting everybody. Stacked with the Symmetra shield generator coming in at the end. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, there's so much health. Yeah. I mean, this it's a mobile and we massive full dive from Arizona. nuke, really. Full dive from Arizona. Oh, They're not I like even this. playing a turret competition. This should be uh, real nasty. Okay. Uh, never right. mind. Uh, Dog maybe 21. halt it a little bit. They're going to have to reset. Wait for Ivaragas to come back. But again, full dive, very interesting to see. Utah not really, really playing an anti-dive composition here. Flame Turtle on that uh, on a Torbjorn again. So they're going to have to make sure that Tandon is sitting here in the back. Just kind of scouting it out a little bit there. He almost gets taken out. Nice teleport back. But just getting a little bit more information around there since you don't have that line of sight around this chokehold. Nice flank here, though. Once again, Smash on the side here. really, really good somber gameplay. He's being a pest. He's hacking. He's being in the back, and he's escaping when he needs to. Uh, really, really good. Sin on... One healer? Okay. Sin on Soldier? Sin I doing like really it. good on Soldier? Is he going to out-damage? Sin getting damage three damage. picks what on Soldier? The? Is that <laughs> happening? Wow, that's almost a complete wipe here for Utah. Nice defense. They hold that choke point. Looks like they're going to be resetting here. Sombra, once again, getting information for the team, trying to scout out if there's any changes to the lineup, seeing if Arizona's trying to regroup or reconsider their dive comp, and if they really want to go for that. 
Uh, I think they are reconsidering. I progress is now on the Widowmaker, not GM on the Genji. Like I said, he didn't feel as comfortable on the Genji before. He wasn't doing as well, but you know maybe maybe they can pull something off. I progress again on the Widow. It really didn't seem doing much, but maybe he'll pull something out here. We've got to see something from Arizona here, though. Here it uh, is. The, the hammer. Most Flame Turtle gets his fire put completely out, snuffed in the face. Fire there, extinguisher the is needed. <laughs> yeah, I mean molten <laughs> core. All right, now you're just Obsidian Rock because you're, you're, that lava's gone. Sin has the high ground uncontested. He's getting so low. He's still alive, though. He's not dead. How? Well, he, 1 HP. I saw him at 1 HP. It's a melee kill and not GM's Genji. What is this soldier gameplay, Zader? He's that, just popping off. That was Arizona's push, but they left Sin on the high ground. They let him keep that high ground, and they let him deal so much damage, and they all got taken out. Sin looking beautiful on this. Sin is looking here, man, absolutely like, wonderful on this. That's soldier fun right to see now. when you see a support move on to. He's having carry. fun. Yeah, he's, he's having, having a great time so in this show match. Right now. Ooh, the widow has the high ground, gets taken Not out. Anymore. Flame turtle swip, swapping over here to Tracer. You can see trying to scout out once again. Tandon, I like this play. He's looking just for the back line. Almost gets. Ooh, oh, yeah, he does. Is. Nice. And gets there. out with 57 HP. Perfect. perfect Not perfect. even close. <laughs> Not even close. But, I mean, he's getting picks. He's staggering them. He's doing, he's being Sombra. And I, yes. I, I hate that. I hate it. I think it's fun to watch. I hate that he's doing such a good job with Sombra. Yeah. It's a little bit more interactive than uh, the recall that you can get from Tracer. I like it, but it's a little harder to play against. Dark 21 dropping really, really low here. Ooh, nice pull. Uh, he's still not dead, that. though. He's still not dead. Look at his health. There he goes. There oh, he goes. Super All right. close. I, I, see. I was going to be really excited if he lived the there. The supercharger defense not really working too well for Utah. <laughs> is they're actually getting aggressed on... Oh, oh as I on. say that. Look at all those picks. Wow. Rest in pepperonis, Arizona. Oh, no. Oh, not GM. No, that's not what oh. you want to see. <laughs> oh. 30 seconds remaining. You heard the announcer there. One final push will be here for Arizona. He might be able to take this. Oh, one more hook right onto the support. Beautiful 100 to 0 there. Dog 21 looking great here. This is the whole the hog. Whole he can do hog up to 5,000 damage out. if he lands everything. Let's you never see that. He's pushing them all away. He's sitting up. Oh, oh my oh. goodness. He's on point with Dog these hooks. Soul. What? Oh, Genji looking for the point, doing as much as he can. He's got the Dragon Blade out. He's scaring everyone. Mutatone, however, is not having any of that. Tandon switching over to the Hanzo instead of the Sombra. He bought enough time, though. Overtime is still at full ticks. They're pushing. They are pushing. Ah, uh, no. Oh. They're not pushing anymore. Just, just kidding. Feels bad. Arizona faltered that match. Yeah. I, think, I, I think that initial offense from Utah put Arizona in an odd place and they didn't know what to do. Yeah, it was a weird uh, attempt to play and a dive. see Sin on the soldier, again, a <laughs> yeah. healer main on the soldier, Watch and just this. dominating. He gets the high ground, and they just forget about him, right? He's going to turn around here, and then he's going to have a uh, lot of room to just put out the damage, and great He's just getting picks there. there. I, I mean, he had great aim on all of that, being able to track multiple members. With their backs turned to him, nobody seemed to recognize Yes, that is not a support hero. Not it is Sin, support. but he is just putting out the paint. Like that was awesome. Uh, that was that was phenomenal. Yeah. I uh, this entire match was phenomenal. Arizona showed their strength. They they can do it. They know what they're doing. They can win. So we want to see that from Arizona here. They're gonna have one more match. Uh, they're gonna have one more match next week. So if they can get a one-two score. You know they can put their name out there at least. Yeah. They can get they can get the one. Yeah. Uh, so we we see that from them. They they can win. I know they can. Uh, they're playing again. They're playing against one of the best teams here yeah. in the Pac G. You have to remember that. You have to remember. And that. it's a show match. And they put up a hell of a fight. Yeah, they did. They really did. A lot of close, especially the Lijong Tower, two rounds in a row, 90-plus percent for both teams. Arizona was there. Arizona they showed was up. most definitely there. I, I, I know they can do it. And so let's go ahead and look at back yeah, again at these maps and see where Arizona had their strong points. Now, you can't really see it in the score because you only just see like the finality of these maps. But right. Blizzard World, nothing really much to say there other than it was hugely convincing for Utah. They just right. But destroyed. Arizona didn't tilt. They had no, the they losers didn't. pick map. Right. That mentality, they hold on to it, stay positive. They pick Hanamura, and from there, they show that they can take one point 
and then that gives them a confidence for Li Zhang. Yes, they fall 2-0 on that map, but it was so close. So, so close. Nine, like we said, 90% plus for each team on a, both maps. I, I mean, valuable team fights, great team synergy, ult usage, everything. Arizona had it. Arizona had it. They just faltered there on those little, uh, those little key points, but this is a learning point for Arizona. Yeah, the climax of the story for me was that second point on Li Zhang, where that point in particular, in King of the Hill, you normally don't see a 99-99 game on that particular point. Once you cap that, you kind of just have it. You just hold it, right? Right. But in almost completely mirrored compositions, Arizona totally gave Utah a run for their money, and that was beautiful to watch. It was absolutely amazing. And I, I have mad props for, for Arizona. Obviously, I'm a Utah fan. I go to Utah, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but mad props for Arizona here. I didn't expect that from them at all. Yeah, grass to them keeping their wits about them, and putting on a show. And, of course, congratulations to Utah for putting on their own show, a clinic, really, especially on Blizzard World. That was four. Oh. painful. Yeah. So, I don't know. I think, I think this was amazing. But we're going to go ahead and cover what's next here on today's matches. I know there's a lot of you joining in here just, just recently, but don't leave yet. We have a rebroadcast of... Again, another phenomenal match that we had the other and week. And you may be wondering why rebroadcast? Well, there's a reason. These two teams are phenomenal and a UCLA pleasure to watch. So you don't want to miss this. Because if you weren't worse live in week five when we saw this matchup, you want to see it now. You and then want to see it now. after that, we'll come back to live. You and I will be casting USC versus ASU. Both these teams are really good. Question marks there for USC Question with the changes marks. to their lineup and ASU. They, they have some of the best players in Pac-G. They've got some of the best players. They've got, they've, they've got Tier 2 team players. Yeah. You know, they, they've got players working towards contenders. They, they, ASU is very strong, and we've seen them against Utah as well. We had a grudge match. We've seen them in DreamHack as well, and they beat Utah. And there are serious playoff implications for that third match you saw on the schedule. We just finished Correct. the first one. The next one is a great rebroadcast for you guys to watch. In the meantime, while we get those teams set up, they have exams and whatnot, so they had to schedule it a little bit later. And you can see USC versus ASU will be that last showing of today, and it should be explosive. And once again, playoff implications up the wazoo. And you will see exactly how strong Arizona is in yeah. this rebroadcast. You will get a taste of what you're going to see in this third match with Arizona. Uh, UCLA put up a fight in this match too. Yeah. UCLA knew what they were doing and they knew Arizona and they, 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 they monstered that, that match as well. Arizona did, uh, I'm not gonna actually spoil, Arizona did or did not uh, take that match, but uh, UCLA monstered it and you're gonna see exactly how strong ASU is. Yeah, a little bit of a scouting you can get alongside us in this rebroadcast before we see it live. USC versus ASU coming up later on this evening. Don't go anywhere. We're going to get a short break before we come back to show you, once again, UCLA versus ASU coming your way in just a moment. And again, I am Xander Zader, or Zader, whatever you want to see, whatever yeah. you want to call me. Zader, Xander, Xander the Zader. Xander the Zader. Doctor here prescribing that pharmacy time and again. Excellent work there. Pleasure to cast with you. My name is Jake at Superman Casting. Check me out on Twitter, Twitch, the like, supermancasting.com. We'll see you after the break. Peace.